This tutorial focuses on using the Lookup Classes tool to register for classes. For more information on searching for available courses, please see tutorial 2.2, Lookup Classes Using Aurora. Once you've accessed Lookup Classes and have selected a term, you may begin. You may only register for courses one term at a time. Let's try to register for Arts 1110. When looking at your search results, remember that any additional comments about the course will be listed here in bold black text. This section must be taken with one of the specific lab sections listed here. You'll remember from the last tutorial that you may find a checkbox or one of the following codes in the select column. If you see a checkbox here, then the course is available for registration. C means that the section is closed because it's already full. NR means no registration. You'll see this if the registration period for that course section has ended. SR means student restriction. This is a hint to verify your registration eligibility, which was explained in tutorial 2.4, Confirm Registration Eligibility and Time. You'll also remember from the previous tutorials that section numbers beginning with A indicate that it's a lecture, and sections beginning with a B indicate a lab. To register for a course that has a lab section, you must select both the lecture and the lab. You can do so by clicking on the selection box for each. Scroll to the bottom of the screen and click on register. You'll see both the lecture and lab appear under current schedule. This means you've successfully registered for the class. Next, let's see what happens if there's a registration error. If you tried to add the lecture or lab section without adding its accompanying lab or lecture section, you will receive a registration error called linked error. Registration errors display with a red mark. This indicates that you have not been registered for the class. Each error includes a message that explains why you could not register for the course and gives some instruction for how to proceed. A link error may also occur if you've attempted to register for the incorrect lecture and lab combination. In some courses, specific lab sections are assigned to specific lecture sections. Failure to register for the right combination may result in a link error. A list of common registration error messages can be found on the Registrar's Office registration website. You can continue to look up classes by clicking on Look Up Classes. Changing your registration and dropping classes will be explored further in Tutorial 3.6, Changing and Dropping Classes. When you're finished registering, it's important to review your registration and to view your fee assessment. These will be covered in upcoming tutorials.